Hey, welcome to August 12th. We're sitting here, we're bored. We're trying to figure out what to do. We've got things to do. We've got do to thing. I don't know. Hey, you know what? This guy right here is bothering me. Can you leave me alone, please? Okay, I'm gonna put you on the bed. Okay. He's going over to the bed. Yo, look at that backpack over there. That is a nice little water pack. Good stuff. All right, man. What's going on, dude? I'm sitting here. I'm bored. Like I said. Um, I have a I have a, a decision to make. Maybe one of you guys can answer it. All right, now, you know how I have so many games that I can't beat any of them anymore, and I just sit here and blog stuff and stupid. I don't know. Um, man, I want to do something. I want to be something. So we have decision one, which is the logical decision we should do. I just got Resident Evil Revelations in the GameFly mail. It's right behind you right now. You can't see it, but it's behind you. Believe me, it's there. Um. That's the logical choice. Beat the game that you're paying monthly for. I, I pay monthly for Gamefly, obviously. Uh, almost $20 a month, actually. I should be getting that game done, be in, boom, out, out, out the window. And then I should have my next game coming in. And while the next game, when I'm dealing with postage and everything, I should have my next game, one of my backlog games, in the Xbox or PS3 or Wii or whatever I'm playing. And I should be focusing on that. That's how the old system worked. Now it's just kind of like, uh, no, I work, I don't want to. I want to just do what I want to do. Which sucks because I don't want to do shit anymore. So, there's that. Um, but the question is, out of all the games that I have right here, who should I play? Fallout 3 on the 360. I'm not very far into it. I've been in the game though, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, I'm finding it really hard to get into, so please tell me if it gets better, or if I should play it at all. Because, I don't know, I'm not feeling it right now. Uh, Forza 3? Four, yeah, Forza 3. Um, this is kind of a, uh, this is like a chill game. Like, this is one of those games where you're playing with your friends, or you're talking with your friends, and you're, um, you're, you're just, you're kind of, you need a, a brainless game. A game where you don't have to look at story, you don't have to listen to anything, you just do it. There's a lot of, like, side stuff, like completing all the events, uh, upgrading your cars, and painting your cars. Just a lot of mindless activity. Um, so that one's going to take me probably, like, 30 or 40 hours just to do everything there. Um, or should I just, uh, you know, mess around on multiplayer games? Uh, mainly these two I've been playing. We do have Battlefield 3, but I just, I don't feel it. Um... They offer different things. Halo to me, I'm, I'm like, I kind of want to level up, hit the level cap, get some of those online achievements. Call of Duty, I just like leveling up. It, 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 uh, what is it? It appeals to my, um, my, uh, I don't know, my ways, I guess. Um, but then, you know, I look over there and I see my Wii games, the games that I've even really played. You know, we've got... Metroid Other M, which I'm hearing I shouldn't even touch, uh, you know, Last Story, Xenoblade, and Fortune Street, you know, I kind of want to play one of those games, and then you look over at the PS3, you've got Demon Souls, and you've got Heavy Rain, and Rune Factory, and then you've got Splinter Cell HD, you know, I've got so many games to play, and it sucks, because I want to play them, but I can't play them. You know, and I'm starting to learn that games maybe aren't for me anymore, and it's it's a shocking revelation, because you know, uh, two years ago, if you asked me, dude, when are you gonna quit gaming? I'd have said, fuck you, I'll die before I stop gaming. That's not the case anymore. The case is how long, you know, and it sucks because I've put so much time, so much love, so much care, so much money, so much everything into gaming, and it was maybe that was just my um my thing until now but the thing is now what is my thing now I don't really have any hobbies you know it kinda sucks um, I'm not much of a reader I guess I like watching stuff but who doesn't like watching stuff uh, I don't know man I'm just bugging out I think I don't know I need to go get more road experience but I don't really want to drive today but that's the best way to do it right just do it all do it a lot really often you know um, yesterday I did a lot of parking, a lot of parking practice, which is good, because that's my we my weakest thing, I want to say. Parking? Yeah, parking and reversing are definitely my uh, weakest. But then, I don't know, sometimes I get to intersections where there's no, like, signs or lights or anything, and that just confuses the shit out of me. 
because I mean, then you have to deal with the right of way whoever got to that point first is the one that goes and if you got there at the same time then the person to your right goes right I think that's how it is I don't know it confuses the shit out of me sometimes but the whole inversion thing when you're reversing is what terrifies the fuck out of me um, you do it, it, you, I don't know it's not so much mental it's about just building up the muscle memory and remembering how your car maneuvers so I basically just went to a parking lot and fucked around in reverse for a while tried a little parallel parking a little bit over in blowjob park people man disgusting um yeah i don't know i want to play xenoblade i do i do but at the same time i don't really want to play an rpg i've got shin megami over there on the back burner uh resident evil's in there i did have dead island but certain circumstances happened and that game no longer can be played so that sucks maybe i should just be lazy and just watch stuff and play Candy Crush. I don't know. It's a tough decision. You guys want to answer it for me? You know, maybe throw some suggestions, you know, like, hey, hey, Frazzleberry, you have Tales of Vesperia. Play that. It's an amazing game. Or, Frazzleberry, what are you doing? Go play Magna... No, I already beat that. Go play Nair. Or play... Um... Shit. It's a game of him being yet. Go play Supreme Commander. Go play the Silent Hill games. You know, you have Silent Hill 2, 3, Homecoming, Brotherhood... Those are down for poor. Yeah, and Homecoming. Go play one of those. Um, go finish up Skyrim. I don't know what I want to play. I want to play Silent Hill, but at the same time, it's like... Certain games, I feel like if I play it without a guide, it's just going to be a process. And I don't, I don't want to process it. I just want to do it. You know? That's why I like games like Grand Theft Auto. I can just pop it in and just douche around and beat it eventually. Um, but kind of, I don't know, man. I feel like I need more to that. I don't know. I'm going to end it here with a little boop. All right, boop.